What's going on fish heads? Today is Friday, August the 30th, 2019, and we are doing a bonus Labor Day spray session for you guys today. We're going to turn this into this. We're going to do a natural trout pattern on a pre-foiled holographic Ozark trails, which by the way, if you guys have not fished these things, they're pretty decent. They cost $1.97, which is less expensive than a lot of different blanks out there cost, and they come pre-foiled. So this little guy swims a lot like the old Excaliburs do. It's even kind of shaped like a red-eyed shad or an Excalibur, which is the red-eyed shad is kind of based on an Excalibur, if you asked me, but who's asking me? Anyways, this is a cool bait. It's got a lot of flash and pop to it, so grab your airbrushes. Let's paint something cool today. Okay, we're going to pull these eyes out, and on these it's not hard to do. They just pop right off. And I'll tell you, for the price, again, um, as far as lipless goes, they sound amazingly, amazingly like the Excaliburs. And they swim really, really close. Like, it's hard to tell the difference when they're painted, except there's some features on the on the mold on the pressing that are obviously different and different to uh to strike king as well but these are good i'm 100 percent convinced confident in this lipless i'm just going to go ahead and pull the um, hooks off probably a little tough to paint the hooks on although i guess you could technically uh, no nah, it'd be a mess just goofing around i'm in a silly mood today one of those days. It's Labor Day weekend. And because it's a lip list, there's nothing to tape off. So we are ready to go. Because this is already taped or pre-foiled, if you will, we don't need to screw that up too much, so I'm just going to add a light layer of pearl white to this. And that all that's going to do is just provide enough of a base when we put the rest of our palette on this, on this lure. It's just going to make it stand out really, really nicely. So it's going to provide enough of that white primer base, even though it's really just going on thin, to do what, what kind of effects we want to do on this bait. And there you have it. The next thing I want to do is add just a little bit of gold back into the top here. And that's going to help that pink stick real nice. And you can see there's already a, there's an imperfection that looks like it was here on the bait itself before we got a hold of it and that's going to happen especially when you're working with lesser expensive um, items such as these are they're still really good even with the imperfections i love them next we're going to be adding just a little bit of pearlized magenta into the mix we're going to work from the tail forward on this and we're going to bring our pressure way down way 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 down flip that around 
Do the same thing from the tail forward. Maybe just a little bit on the inside of that gill plate on both sides. And just a little bit on the chin. Again, minimalist on this particular pattern. Less is more. I do like this Maui blue for the blue on this. It's dark enough to where it's going to mimic something that's looking real good in the fall. I'm going to bring just a little tiny bit of white back across the top of this. and the belly. Same thing on this side, across the top of it, and the belly. I'm going to pull a little bit of detailed black magenta across the top. little bit here at the eyes. Other side. There we go. I've cut just a little card here away from this um, set lock backing. And we're going to go from the outer gill plate in on both sides. And again, you got to remember, hit the card. Just let that overspray drip off the edge there. Wipe that down. And do the same thing for the inside. Now you have some really cool definition. You can see that it really defines that raised area of the gill plate there. And it works. And it's not black, so it's not going to... It's, it's just the perfect amount of detail. Once we have a decent heat set on this, I want to add just a little bit of detailing on the pectoral fin. Just create that. Try and run it evenly. Very light detailing. Very, very light detailing. Because when you look at pectoral fins, they're transparent. You can pretty much see through them on just about every fish out there. You want to remember to come below that lateral line. There you go. Get all the heavy stuff off of there and then just randomly flick paint. I love how random this is and how easy this is to do. This is a great little hack. And now it's starting to look like rainbow trout. Woohoo! Cooking with fire, y'all. Without the eyes, folks, there is that trout pattern. I took my gloves off for this part because you really don't need them, and it's 
it's better if you don't have anything that the back of these eyes can stick to because they do have a little tackiness on the backing and they're supposed to but I always like to make sure that the eyes are going to stay put so we're absolutely going to use glue every time our eyes are in place very pretty very pretty subtle pattern for trout dark you see a lot of dark trout in the fall at least I do in my waters really pretty colors on them so I was able to kind of get the tones right that I wanted and just that random splatter pattern on the back you guys have recently seen me dip and clear a lipless so I'm not going to repeat that on this one I just want to give you a real quick bonus video for the holidays I hope you guys are out having a lot of fun catching a lot of fish this holiday weekend uh, fall is right around the corner get that fall bite on and hey now that you're on this channel watching this video just know that I've cataloged all of my cool over the years I've done like dozens and dozens of spray sessions for you guys so that's all in a playlist now if you click videos and then click playlists it's all going to be organized for you guys so I'm really Really stoked about that for you um, I can't wait to see what you create have a great day happy Labor Day weekend this concludes the bonus spray session for Jekyll Bates cheers and happy casting